Does the new It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow cover facial redness? We're gonna find out in this video. And I'm also doing an eight hour wear test on my mature oily skin. Hi everybody, I'm Kathy. I'm 53 years old. I have mild rosacea, facial redness, some age spots from sun damage, and today I'm testing out for the very first time the new It Cosmetic CC Plus Nude Glow. There are 22 shades of the new It Cosmetic CC Plus Nude Glow. The shades range from fair porcelain to deep mocha. Today I'm testing out the shade Light Medium. So the new It Cosmetic CC Plus Nude Glow is a color correcting medium coverage skin tint formulated with brightening glow serum and an SPF that delivers an immediate visibly healthy glow. It is good for normal, dry, and combination skin types. It is a medium buildable coverage that gives an immediate healthy glow. The finish is radiant and it is a liquid formulation. The CC Plus Nude Glow has an SPF of 40 in it, but just as a side note, I personally never rely on the sunscreen in my makeup to protect my face if I'm going to be out in the sun. If I'm going to be outside or on vacation, I do not rely on the sunscreen in my makeup. I would totally wear just a separate sunscreen, and then if I wanted makeup, I would put the makeup on over the sunscreen. The new Wick Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow is a 90% skincare base. It's clinically tested to visibly brighten skin and visibly improve skin texture, softness, and your uneven skin tone. It has niacinamide, which helps visibly brighten skin, it smooths the skin texture, and it reduces the look of dark spots and large pores. Hyaluronic acid, it immediately visibly pumps and hydrates the skin, and it also has green tea extract, which protects against environmental aggressors for healthy looking skin. I I personally have not been a fan of the original It Cosmetics CC Cream, even though I love It Cosmetics skincare and some of their makeup. I have always had issues with the original CC Cream that would oxidize on me, it would turn orange, or it's just too heavy. And then after a few hours, I find that it would settle in my pores because I do have large pores. So I'm really anxious to try the CC Plus Nude Glow Out because it is supposed to be a lighter formula and it's not going to give like a heavy coverage like the original CC cream. I think the nude glow is something that I actually would enjoy every day if I'm just looking for something to hide my redness and just even out my complexion. So the time has come for us to find out my first impressions about the new It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow. So let's give it a try. It is 10, 12 a.m. So I am wearing the shade Light Medium. You can see that the consistency of the CC Plus Cream is a little on the thick side, but not as thick as the regular CC Cream. There is a faint hint of a scent. I think it almost smells like lemon, but it is not obnoxious or strong. You can see that it applies nicely with my fingers and it also applies nicely with a brush. I think my preference would be to apply it with my fingers and then maybe pat it in later with a beauty blender. I would say it's definitely a light coverage foundation and I like that especially for every day. It didn't completely cover all of my skin imperfections but I think that it did a nice job of covering my rosacea and my redness in my face. Just to feel it to the touch. It's not that it's tacky, but it feels, I can feel it with my fingers. It almost feels like a little when my face is oily, but I don't feel it otherwise, if that makes sense. If you have oily skin like me, you'll understand what I'm trying to say, because as our skin gets oily throughout the day, you can actually feel like the oil sitting on your skin, but I can't feel that unless I just go and touch it. It's definitely not tacky. To me, it's more of like a, I don't know how to describe it, like an oil feel, but a good oil, not a bad oil. I think that it gives my face a nice glow very natural looking. So I'm back and I just put on a little bit of makeup. I'm going to show you everything I did. 
did. I powdered my face with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I just set the CC Plus Nude Glow Cream. I'm not going to touch up my face for the rest of the day. I did my eyebrows with the IT Eyebrow Pencil. Mascara was the Charlotte Tilbury Push Up Lashes. And for lips today, it's actually just the IT Cosmetics, their lip balm. And it just really creates a nice light pink look. It interacts somehow with the pH of your lips and so everybody's shade is different. It's perfect for them. Okay everybody, that's it. I'll see you back in eight hours and we're gonna see how this new it Cosmetic CC Plus Nude Glow lasted throughout the day on my oily skin. We're gonna see if it settles in my pores and uh, we're gonna see if I look oily by 6 p.m. tonight. It's 5.41. We're almost at the eight hour mark. Since 1.30, I have wanted to wash my face so bad. I really wanted this CC cream to work because when I first put it on, I really kind of thought that I would like it. But as you can tell, I look really oily. And I've been looking in my magnifying makeup mirror and it's really broken down on my skin. And I'm gonna zoom in close in a second so you can see it. It's broken down, uh, it's showing my pores, it's showing like some dead skin because I need to exfoliate tonight. Friday is usually my deep exfoliation night. My T-zone, it just, I feel like really greasy. So let me zoom in and then I'm gonna tell you the things that I do like about this CC Plus Cream. And then we're gonna talk about, do I think it's good for oily skin people? So can you see? on my cheek, how it's kind of broken down. It's just kind of sitting there. You can see my pores. See here, there's like some dead skin. I'm really oily in the T-zone. And I just, this feeling drives me nuts. You can see this side, same thing, chin. So, I made some notes. I thought that it did a good job at covering my red skin initially. And I think that if you have dry to normal skin, I do think that you might like this CC Plus Nude Glow. However, if you have oily skin like me, I think it's gonna be like an individual choice. I don't care for it. And that's the problem that I have so many times with different CC creams and foundations, it's just hard to find one that works well and doesn't make my skin feel like dirty, like there's something on it. Yeah, I'm so, so sad that this isn't working out. But I'm gonna keep trying it for a few more days. I'm not gonna make my decision just on one day, but I don't think in my past experience with CC creams that things are going to change that much. I thought that the light medium was actually a really nice color match and I just followed, if you go on the IT Cosmetics website, they have a little program where you can put in a foundation shade of a, a different companies that you're wearing now and that's how I knew that the light medium was my shade and I really do think that it was a good shade match. I do prefer it over the original CC cream, it's not as thick. It's the same problem, it breaks down on my skin. Compared to the L'Oreal BB cream that I reviewed a few weeks ago, I definitely would go with the L'Oreal BB cream for my skin type because it wasn't oily, it was a little more dry. So that BB cream maybe is suited better for oily skin people, whereas this CC cream might be better for dry skin people. So that's an option for you. So I really haven't done any research on other people's opinions about the CC Plus Nude Glow. I don't know if other oily skin people are feeling the same way that I do. I'm sad that it didn't work out because I thought that it was promising, but I'm just giving you like my honest opinion. I feel, I just wanna go hop in the shower. My face feels like there's heaviness on it and that I just don't like that feeling. And on another note, I was peeling onions this afternoon because we're having our Easter dinner tomorrow and I'm uh, preparing for the scalp potatoes. Well, I almost cut the tip of my finger off. <laughs> and then when I was peeling the onions, I was crying because of that. So I think it all, the uh, CC cream washed away on my cheeks, but also my mascara is all washed off. So I'm just like a hot mess right now for this review. 
but I told you I wasn't going to touch up my face and I'm keeping it real here. If you found my review helpful and informative, I hope that you'll give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, I hope that you will. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Bye.